what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terror by reacts here back with another high q season four reaction man three and four is over now it's time for five and six let's get it i told you guys i'm going in for a long session five or six episodes let's get it we're on to five episodes five and six um so what to expect in these two more improvement from Hinata or maybe they're gonna focus on Kageyama based on how episode 4 ended I don't know but um, do want to see some more stuff from that camp though because that dude that looks like a bird pretty interesting guy but he's also got to understand that when you're in the midst of pure genius nobody's gonna be surprised by anything you do <laughs> but you know when you're just so used to praise you know you feel like everybody should be wowed every time you do something you know what i mean um and trust me we appreciate it but you know sometimes your ego gotta get checked you know so in any case guys let's jump into this i don't want to talk about joining the membership um just make sure you know you, you you know what to do if you haven't done it yet okay it's only a dollar man it's only a dollar you know what i'm saying i made it so you guys can support with the smallest amount they offer you don't have to sign up for the rest but if you do want early early um access if you do want early access a week early for everything that goes on the channel after these shows are finished you can do that you can sign up for the second tier and of course if you want to make suggestions for the channel of stuff you want me to watch regardless of what it is you can go up to the third tier okay so as you see i'm trying my best to remember to say this to you guys on pretty much every video essentially eventually i'm gonna stop saying it and just maybe put a slide or something or do a graphic or something on the video so you guys will see and remember just in case you're considering doing it it's okay man it's no fuss no fuss here no nobody's forcing anyone to do anything i hate i, I don't like asking people for money unless it's I'm doing a business deal and it's a whole different story but this is not a business deal I'm asking you guys to support you know what you're watching I know I'm providing some great content man you guys gotta give that up you know what I'm saying you gotta give that up to me I don't like patting myself on the back but I know what I'm doing I know the work that I put in I know the hours that I stay up to get these reactions done so hey support your boy for you know what I mean anyways thank you guys so much I appreciate y'all man regardless if you sign up or not still love y'all y'all a terror squad i'll see you guys for the review all right so that was episodes five and six and my god you know it was a great um couple of episodes man i have to say great couple of episodes and you know to learn that these two want to level up so bad kageyama and hinata they want to level up to the point where they're unstoppable and hinata came back with some new skills i think his defense is going to improve i think they're realizing that and also how the episode ended i'm hoping that's not him getting a little bit confused about his role on the team as a setter and I'm wondering why he told um, Noya to get like he's in the way um, I'm hoping that it's not that he's confused about his role because you could get confused if you're ending up playing you know improving your skills it is possible to happen you know but it's also very hard to happen you know what i'm saying um you know to get confused about your role on the team or what role you should be playing when you only did that for like five days and you've been playing setter your whole life unless you like begin to like it better that's the only way i can maybe see that happening but other than that i mean i don't really see that happening so if that's the case you know what I'm saying? If that's the case, that's going to be, you know, for somebody who's who loves the game so much and, and, and is a genius at the game. Like, I mean, even LeBron James, who is considered to have 
one of the best IQs ever in the history of basketball. You know what I'm saying? Makes mistakes. Make terrible mistakes on the court. He, he has walked up the court and traveled. <laughs> and the refs didn't call it. I mean, you guys must know that famous clip of him just walking up the court. Well, niggas get old. <laughs> you know, so that was pretty that was pretty funny but we'll see how it plays out um i don't think it is that i think it's something else i'm not just probably misreading it but if it ends up being that you know what i'm saying it's just a slight thing it's a very slight thing we all make mistakes and in, in circumstances and he's really gonna have to kind of like reevaluate what's happening and i'm looking forward to that but in any case man i appreciate what they're trying to do you know what i mean i appreciate what they're trying to do here i really do um like you know what they're doing with the characters suki seemed like he learned some new stuff too and i'm looking forward to nationals man because nationals is gonna be a beast of a tournament and i'm pretty sure they're not through with that stuff yet. it was just the first half i don't know who they're gonna play first but it's all gonna be power teams it's all gonna be power teams and you know um i'm looking forward to it but anyways i don't have much to say here it's gonna be a short review um because they're in training montage you now there's nothing much to talk about i think i've talked enough um from the other um two reviews i did about the first um four episodes um this one is basically just showing the last part of what hinata was doing talking about the coach um you know and i think I think he was kind of testing him. I'm, I'm, if anything, I would talk about what Hinata was doing and how, you know, how impressed I am with him of what he learned by going there for five days, you know what I'm saying, uninvited, you know what I mean, and ended up being the ball boy. And it just says what I was saying that he got the opportunity to see things going on on the court without being on the court. It's a whole different view. That's the reason why people try to, you know what I'm saying, um, people try to record other teams playing and stuff like that. Even if they're trying to have secret um, training and stuff like that, you'll try to see it because you want to know what they're up to. What are the new plays? What is their, what is going to be their strategy? You want to know these things. It's not right for them to do that. It's actually, in some leagues, it's illegal to record other teams play if it's not a live game. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so you can't record their practice and stuff like that. It's actually uh, um, illegal, you know, in the league. So, um but you can gain a lot of information from doing that you know and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys do your thing man do your thing hit that like button let me know what you think in the comment section and i will catch you guys next time for some more haiku i'm out peace